All right, let's get to the news. You have an update from a story we've been following for a few months now from National City. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't think this has ever made it into a San Diego special. I don't know if this is like a National City special, but it was for a long time. I it's, think it falls under that category. Yeah, I, I think you're right. A National San Diego special has been resolved at yeah. this time from South Bay. <laughs> Um, the city council officially voted to repeal the ban on Tuesday, reversing its 1992 law. What was the ban, though, of? The ban was on cruising. So it's not a ban on lowriders, but it happens to be an action that lowriders do, right? You cruise along the street. Um, it came about in the 19, in 1992 because people were concerned that like these really big cruising events were causing public safety concerns in National City. How did they define cruising? Just to, let's get this specific. Yeah, just like a a slow, it's like a going through a block three to four times on that same block. So cruising, you know, you're driving slow, you're riding through that same block, circling maybe. Um, it's just that back and forth action multiple times. Mm -hmm. And it came from what? It came in 1992, business owners, uh, police officers were mostly pushing it because it the cruising in National City brought a lot of people from different cities and it was like a big event and, you know, it was causing issues for police where you had maybe some, you know, uh, illegal activity, lots of fights. Um, so police really pushed for it as well as business owners at the time who, you know, would, would have trouble getting their customers in the door because there were so many people. And it um, had a, a sort of racial component as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So now it's lifted. Um, it's been a long time. I wrote about it in October, kind of looking at why National City couldn't lift it. And um, this was around a time where a lot of cities were lifting their ordinances, looking at them like, wow, this ban is, you know, pretty racist and we need to get rid of it. And National City, one way or another, just could not get rid of it. And what my story explored was that they kept tying the conversation of lifting its ban, just removing the ban to large events because they were concerned again. Um, you know, traffic congestion, what it would mean for the business owners. And, um, you know, we when we had our last live podcast, we had um, former mayor Alejandra Sotelo Solis and then councilman Ron Morrison speak on the ordinance, which they had not been able to lift. And both of them were still kind of tied to like, yeah, we need to lift it. But, you know, we need to make sure that it happens the right way because we don't want to have these issues with big events. Yeah. And now Ron Morrison. Uh, so he's mayor. Yeah. And and he had this quote that we both <laughs> we both seized on. Uh, it, it, he basically doesn't think it's that hard anymore. Yeah, he said. Uh, so he told the union, or he said this. The Union Tribune reported um, that the vote that happened to lift the ban is more of a symbolic. It's it's more symbolic in our city more than anything else because the city hadn't actually enforced the anti cruising law in years. Um, but I just thought it was funny given that you know. It's symbolic, but it took them a really long time it's, to get rid of it. It was symbolic, which means it doesn't have any impact, but it was impossible for them to change because of the worry Worries. they had about how much impact it would have, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess that National City special, San Diego special. Well, the symbolism, like people sometimes say like, this is just symbolic, but symbolism matters, yeah. right? Like that's a that was a big symbol that they had for a long time. Like you... That culture was not welcome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a, he goes on to say um, in that Union Tribune story, that times have changed a lot. I think the image of lowriders has changed. They got stigmatized with a lot of things. They didn't do anything. They didn't have anything to do with. Um, it was people who were on the sidelines. And it's taken a while for people to realize that these people that love these cars, the last thing they want is trouble around their cars. Um, which is funny because Ron Morrison was one of the residents of National City who spoke in favor of the ban in 1992. Things change. Yeah, they do.